Good morning. Good morning, everyone, to Haiku Friday, September 18th, 2020. Um, I want to welcome you all. I want to welcome each and every one of you to this uh, almost autumnal, on the verge of autumnal, uh, Haiku Friday. Um, hope you're all doing good. We had our big share of smoke here in Spokane. Um, I'm sure uh, many of you on the West Coast have been experiencing a lot of smoke, no matter where you are. But it was um, it was hazardous. It actually got above the, um, I think it was right around 500, which is the top of, I think it was 499 the other day. And that's at the top of the um, scale. It doesn't go any higher than 500. So anyways, we're still in the unhealthy zone for air quality, but uh, I'm going to get out there and maybe do a little walk-in today, get back into it, getting kind of tired of being uh, housebound. All right, enough of my jibber-jabbering. Let's do some Haiku Friday, shall we? Our first one is my from my friend Rom. Um, I miss I miss seeing her on calls, working with her. A great, great person. Um, and I hope this finds you doing well, Ram. Good. Thank you for, for, uh, sending this lovely haiku. So let's read it, shall we? Or shall, maybe I'll just read it. Uh, hover, dip, waft, pitch. Enchanted sunbeams sparkle. Wishes sent aloft. Mm. Is that lovely? Isn't that just beautiful? Ah, oh, I love it. Love it, love it. Thanks, Rom. Keep sending them in. You're very talented. All right, here's a couple from our pal, Steen. Steen, I have not seen you, sir, in such a long time. We need to get together, have a cup of coffee, uh, socially distanced uh, coffee someplace soon. All right? Okay, here we go. Steen writes, it's to each their own. And I'm okay, you're okay. Self-help, troubled times. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes it is. Yes it is, sir. Uh, it is, you're right. I, I tell you, I will take a little break here, tell you about what kept me awake last night. And my wife told me, she said, that's just the stupidest thing to stay awake about. But you know, things don't seem so stupid when you're laying there in bed at 2.30 in the morning sometimes. But um, my son and I went to the hardware store yesterday, just our local hardware store. We had bought some, bought some lumber. He was making a plant stand for um, his and his fiance's apartment. And uh, we were going to go back to my house and he was going to use the tools and assemble it. But we needed to go buy some screws. So we stopped at our Ace Hardware. And there was this uh, pickup truck, big pickup truck, that was parked. Like the tail end of it was kind of in the uh, handicap parking. Um, but the majority of it was kind of 45 degrees over the striped lines to, to, say, to keep that path clear to go into the store. He, he was blocking most of the entry path with this pickup truck. Uh, and I walked by and I said, geez, what an asshole or something like that. And, um, I kind of saw these two guys kind of snickering about it. And, um, you know, I, I, I looked, they were, they were just taken off as we left, but, you know, I kind of figured it, he would have a Trump sticker, but he had a, a Ted Nugent for president sticker in his window um, which means, uh, man, that guy's probably beyond Trump. So it's a funny thing to kind of, you know, just to block um, a hardware store's entrance with your pickup truck as a form of, um, I don't know, protest or to show everybody that you can do it, um, to show everybody what kind of person you are. I don't, I don't know. Now, uh, I, that's what I woke up at two thirty in the morning, feeling troubled. That this is this is what's going to happen. This is the kind of world that 
we're getting into. Uh, we saw that downtown for the Black Lives Matter protest when uh, guys rolled up in their pickup trucks and rolled coal and uh, burned a bunch of exhaust onto the people who were marching with pe peacefully marching with signs, but they were assaulted by their uh, by their smoke from their trucks purposefully. I mean. I don't know, does that make people more or less compelled to the bumper sticker and the flag they were waving, which said Trump 2020 on it? I, I don't know. I don't think it would make me want to vote for Trump more. But it, but anyways, I think there's just this attitude where people want to hurt people now. And I'm sure there's some of that on the other side too. So that's what kept me awake last night and uh, worried about the future and that Everybody has been pretty emboldened by him, and they're only going to get bolder no matter what the outcome of this election is. <sighs> I know. I shouldn't worry about that. It's, I, I, nothing I can do about it. Nothing I can do about it. Anyways, um, so Steen, I'm okay. You're okay. Self-help, troubled times. Thank you. Thanks for letting me get in my soapbox, too. All right. Here's the second one from our pal Steen. Watch the hens dust bathe. Dinosaurs in a dust storm. Far from extinction. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I, I do see. They, you know, maybe it's because we've been conditioned by Jurassic Park. They probably uh, did mo videos of turkeys and chickens walking when they made their velocity velociraptors, I'm pretty sure. So now, yeah, I totally see dinosaurs when I see chickens too. All right. Thanks, pal. See you later, hopefully. Uh, here's one from our buddy Rico-san. Rico-san without power for a while due to fires in the, um, in the Great White North. Um, so hopefully, I don't know. I hope you have your power back, Rico-san. But thanks for endeavoring to get, um, your haiku out there to the world. And here it is. Can't come up with one. Still subject to disaster till further notice. Okay. I see what you did. You can't come up with one, but you did come up with one. Hmm. It is a conundrum. Thank you, sir. Hope you're doing okay. And here's mine. Wishing it would rain, might it dampen the nut jobs? Would they know they're wet? Okay. <sighs> Hope you're doing well. This is, this is my beat t-shirt I painted. It's a beat. I had it off center. It had gone over here. I didn't do a job center, good job centering it on my shirt, so I, I had to repaint it uh, yesterday. It's my life painting t-shirts now. Um, okay. You guys take care. Have a good, have a good weekend. Why don't you? Uh, hopefully we do get a little bit of rain. Um, hopefully not on things that you wanted to do this weekend. Although uh, rain might help you do them and that it would clear the air. There you go. There's my weather report. Um, anyways, I love you. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, it means a lot to me to be able to do this every week. And when you send me a haiku, it really makes my day because um, I think that's how we're going to get through this thing. Like I said before, making art and um, making, making things that are beautiful and writing things that are beautiful. And um, that's, that's how we'll get through this. Yep. Yep. We will survive. We'll come out stronger on the other side. Uh, but this is going to be our ammo is art and writing. And um, anyways, thanks. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Have a great weekend again. Goodbye. Bye for now.